This is Mike Couch. Welcome back for Part 3, Best in Class Ergonomic Solutions. In Part 1, we identified significant problems threatening the health and well-being of the dentist and dental team. In Part 2, we identified the best answers and now we address those problems with the best solutions. So let's get started. Before we reveal the best solutions we have found, Let's take a look at some of the culprits that create most of the problems. Let's take a look at some equipment designs that will interfere with the efficient practice of four-handed dentistry. Avoid fabric covered chairs. Eliminate chairs that have wide back supports. They prevent the operating team from being positioned close to the patient. Avoid units that allow hoses and tubing to drape across the patient or that block the light or field of view. Avoid mobile cabinets with restrictive work areas and no storage. Cuspidors are unsanitary and decrease productivity. Coiled hoses inhibit infection control and are difficult for the operator to maneuver. Avoid units that require the assistant to use lengthy or strenuous motions. Now let's take a look at the great stuff. Handed dentistry can be practiced effectively it is necessary to select equipment that will be ergonomically sound and promote this stress-free environment. Though the ergonomics concept can be applied to other areas of the dental practice, such as the business office, emphasis will be placed in this videotape on the selection of equipment for the dental treatment room or operatory. We begin with proper ergonomic seating for the dental team. Dental stools must provide a stable base with five casters a flat or contoured, well-padded seat, easy adjustment, back and abdominal support that adjusts vertically and horizontally. Here are photos of the best seating for the clinician. We have recommended these stools to several clients and they love them. Now let's take care of the assistant. The criteria for the patient's chair are as follows. The patient chair must be positioned for easy access, have a thin narrow back with a concave seat cushion and lower lumbar support, provide supportive neck and head positioner, provide adjustment devices accessible to both sides of the chair that are aseptic, automatic, and foot controlled, be able to be placed in supine position, be free of protrusive devices on back, be easily cleanable, no fabric upholstery. Have a frame and base that are stable, rigid, and durable. Be capable of universal right and left design mount for the dental unit. One of the problems we see in many offices is inadequate or poorly placed work surfaces. So here are our recommendations. Mobile cabinetry must be easily moved and be stable. Provide an optional armrest for the dentist. Provide easy access to instruments and materials. Provide an adequate work surface. Provide a movable work surface that can be positioned over the assistant's lap. Provide adequate storage with a deep well at the top. Fixed cabinetry should be kept to a minimum. Be positioned to provide for maximum floor space. Position so the assistant can gain access to backup materials as needed. The discussion begins with delivery system alternatives. First, let's put the other pieces in place. The patient's chair, a happy patient, the clinician's stool, the assistant's stool, the assistant's primary work surface, a clinician, and a great assistant. Though there are many variations, we will evaluate four approaches. First up, fixed rear delivery with the dentist and assistant's instrumentation built into cabinetry in the static zone. In 1974, I put the Cadillac of rear delivery systems into my first office, and within two years my back was killing me with all the twisting and turning. But I could, however, hide everything from view inside the cabinet. Yeah, right, that lasted about a week. With the positioning of the work surface, it was not only not capable of true four-handed dentistry, it was not in our best health interest either. The mobile rear delivery system puts the dynamic instruments on the side of a mobile cart, which are positioned between the dentist and assistant 
to the dentist's side. While this may be an improvement over a fixed rear system, there is still the inefficiency of tubing management and often a minimal work surface. This system has been popular through the years, but is not the most conducive to the principles of true four-handed dentistry. A split delivery system separates the clinician's and assistant's instrumentation. The clinician's instrumentation is either a chair-mounted over the patient unit, on a cart, or on an arm attached to the wall. The assistant's instrumentation can be mounted on the assistant side to either a cart or the chair. This system is not only not conducive to the assistant transferring the clinician's instrumentation, forcing the clinician into multiple stressful and time-wasting class 3 and 4 movements. This also forces them to take their eyes away from the operating field, thus creating unnecessary eye strain and fatigue. For the past 30 years, as a result of our knowledge in teaching forehanded dentistry, we have been recommending the Transthorax delivery system. This system puts the dynamic instruments in the most ergonomic position in the assistance and transfer zone. The UAB Dental School, Betty Finkbeiner, and other experts in the true forehanded field strongly recommend this approach as the solution that best meets the criteria. Let's take a look at this system in action. The dental unit must be a transthorax style. Adjust vertically and have a horizontal tilt. Have smooth tubing that is tangle free, off the floor, and gravity retractable. Be able to withstand rigorous daily use. Be accessible to right or left handed operator. Not include a bracket tray. Not include a cuspidor. For 40 years, the gold standard for true four handed delivery systems has been the transthoracic system developed and available directly from health science products. To learn more, call HSP at 800-237-5794 and talk with Michael Muscari. The dental stools, cabinetry, and delivery system that we chose as best in class are all available from HSP. We would also like to thank HSP for most of the multimedia videos used in the three segments of this webcast. These principles and fundamentals have served a number of clinicians for all these years and enhanced their health and productivity. In conclusion, where can you go from here? If you found this information helpful and want to stay connected, here is an action plan. Step 1. Email us to get access to updated bonus information. Step 2. In that email, you can also request an invitation to an online membership in the CaringQuest U community. In Step 3, we can address your specific needs through our personalized Comfortable Dentist coaching program. In closing, we thank you for your time and we hope you benefit from the information in this webcast. In Part 1, we identified significant threats to the health and well-being of the dental team. In Part 2, we provided an overview of the great time-tested answer, true forehanded dentistry. And in this final section, we have highlighted our choices as best-in-class ergonomic solutions. We welcome your feedback and questions you may have. Please email me your questions or feedback at michael.couch at caringquest.com. From the CaringQuest team to your team, we wish you improved health, reduced stress, and increased productivity.